So we're going to play around a little bit today and look at a situation where we have ordinary everyday matter actually having a charge on it. And so we're going to use this high-tech equipment, just a roll of scotch tape here. Actually, it is pretty high-tech. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape and I'm just going to lay it down on the table like so. And take another piece of scotch tape. And it's about the same length. And lay it down on this piece. And I pull it up real rapidly, and oh, already it's interacting. Bring it near my hand, and you see that it's actually attracted to my hand. So, so what kind of interaction do you think this is? This isn't a, this isn't gravitational, right? So it must be uh, not magnetic. It's just electric. Yeah, magnetic. We'll get to later in the semester, but magnetic interactions actually involve moving charges and nothing's no charges are moving here at least so, so there's clearly an electrical interaction and let me see what we can do here so let's say if there's an electric interaction there must be some charge somewhere right so somehow we put some charge on the tape and I bring the charge near my hand, and it's attracted to my hand. So what's that mean about my hand? Opposite charge? Less charge? Hmm. Well, let's think about that for a second. First of all, I don't know what the sign of this charge is, but maybe I can find out because... If I pull this up and I bring a, see if this works, I ass I'll assert to you that if I rub a plastic pen or a plastic marker in my hair, it should gain a negative charge. If I bring the plastic pen near, it looks like it's attracted. So what's that mean about the tape? Positive charge? Well, maybe that's possible, but we got to be a little bit careful because this thing's also attracted to my hand, and we don't know whether my hand is charged or not quite yet. So let's get back to that. Let's see now if I, if we can determine this a little more carefully. If I do this, I'm going to put one piece of tape down, and I'll try to use the same brand here to keep it consistent and another piece of tape down on top of it. Ah, too much tape there. And I'll put them both down like so. So now I have sort of a two tape, two tapes sort of stuck on top of each other. And I'll pull this up. I'll see if this is interacting with my hand. It is a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this two tape combination and I'm going to rub the slick side, not the sticky side, but the slick side of the tapes. Is that when I rub the slick side and now bring it to my hand, it doesn't look like there's any attraction. So what do we know now about the two tape system. It's, it should be neutral, right? There's no electric interaction going on, so we know it's neutral. So now I've got one that's an upper tape, one that's a lower tape. I rip them apart, I bring them together, and they're attracted to each other. So what do I know about these two tapes now? They're opposite charge. How do we know that? Okay, they're attracted, but if we start off with something that had a total charge of what? Zero. And I pull them apart, the whole system still has a total charge of 
zero, right? So if one's positive, the other has to be negative, okay? Let's see if we can hold the charge on these. You hold the upper tape, and you hold the lower tape, okay? Let me see if I can make another one real quick. I'm working against time. Now, the humidity's not too bad now, but if it's humid, often these things will lose charge pretty quickly. So there's a lower, and there's an upper. So let me write that down. That's upper and lower. Pull the two tape sandwich off. It's attracted, so let me try to neutralize it. Okay, it is no longer attracted. Let me pull these off. I have an upper here and a lower here. If I bring two uppers together, what should I see? Okay, so let's try it. Yeah, it looks like we see repulsion. Can everybody see that? Very cool. If I bring two, an upper and a lower together, I should see traction. Okay, and I don't want to get them to touch too much, but yeah. Two lowers, I should see repel. And yeah, seems to work. And of course, an upper and a lower should attract. The point of it is what? If I if I had a pen, if I had some object that had a, a known charge on it, say say the pen charge negative, what could I do to determine what the sign of the upper tape or what the sign of the lower tape was? Uh, oh, okay, so. Okay, so if one repels, if it's, it's the same charge, if one, one attracts, it's the opposite, right? The only, the repulsion certainly would make uh, a definitive, uh, conclusive case as to whether, what the sign of the charge was. But let's come back to this idea of a charge tape being attracted to my hand. And if I bring the upper tape, or I don't know what this is now, the lower tape or upper tape near my hand, it's attracted. So here's the, okay, this one's upper. It is attracted. The other one, this was the lower tape. And it's also attracted. So attraction, both signs of these charges are being attracted to my hand. So what's going on there? Someone said the magic words, so they must be reading ahead in the text. They said, inducing a dipole. What does that mean? 